Hey everybody, it's Fonz, and welcome to episode 8. So today we're going to be trying something a little bit different with a gameplay video. When I play the game, there's a lot of things that I face and think about that I don't really talk about much. So I was thinking maybe if I treat this as a VOD review sort of myself, as well as a fun gameplay to watch, it would make for a good video. But who knows? Luckily for me, I played well enough in my placement so that I'm not in diamond, and thank god I don't want to go through that hell ever again, and I placed Ascendant 1. But since this is a brand new act, I have already encountered a bunch of throwing and bad teammates. Now this is normal for the new act since usually people are coming back and trying to play the game since they think they can start fresh, but then they realize that they hate the game or that they suck and then they take it out on other people. Which is why I've already had three people throw my matches. Who are all insta-lock jets, surprise, surprise. But that's nothing new in Valorant, unfortunately, so that's not gonna stop me from playing some games and having fun with the boys. And since for the time being, I'm ascended again, I got to queue with not one, but two people. The one nice thing about being ranked below mortal is that you're allowed to have more than one friend play with you. Must be nice. But after dealing with all the toxicity in my placement matches, the first game I queued for the day, the toxicity was thankfully on the other team for a change. Can I take a picture? Yo boys, we, we had in our queue the jet on the other team last game. Last like champ selection at dodge. Mm -hmm. His mental is destroyed. If we win like three I rounds in a row, he's gonna start like fucking insulting everybody. Alright, let's lock in for three rounds. <laughs> yeah. I'm watching it. Flashing. I'm getting trouble. Yeah, our Reyna was hiding in a corner and I'm just like trying to- Oh my god! Take your time, young man! One enemy oh! You oh. love saying that shit to me. Let's go to that song. He actually wins this, he actually wins this. Oh my god, his try. movement- his movement's win. different! Oh my god! Hey. Let's go, daddy! One tap, go one dead. tap! <laughs> yeah, I'm clean as fuck, bro. I think the, the Jet's mental might be shattered already now. Yep, yep, yep. it might be shattered. How do we throw I them to 3v1? Three? Oh, this is a 3v1. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm a Nice shot. Nice. One HP. Dude, every time Kyle has a D. Probably back there. They broke their mental. GG. Well, I'm kind of different with the sheriff. I was just like, saying, dude, yeah, every single time I've here. seen you hold a sheriff in your yeah, hand, you actually take your time. Like the, uh, oh my god. Let's play recheck. Yeah, uh, wait, I'm going right now. Detained, he's detained. Close, 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 close. He's in. in the smoke, in the smoke. Here, here. Flash him. Three. Oh my god. I got one, I got one. Yeah. Watch your water. I'm gonna thrash through when we're ready. He'll be in the smoke. Oh, I'm, I'm flashing, I'm flashing. Yep. I'm flash. Flash him back. Stunned. Two, two, two stunned. Two stunned. Oh, I'm the behind you. <laughs> one more. Two more. All three. All three. All three back. One, enemy one more. Last player standing. Oh my <laughs> god, Deco. <Shit>. Got him. <laughs> Getting clear pit. I'm gonna throw my Disney and get Wingman on plant. Ready? Pull the look. Just drop. Nice. She's dead. Bang. There. Race is on. Race is on. At 114. I'll tell you what the Game one was a blowout and I was feeling good. Now, game two was kind of interesting because we had a bit of a concerning situation going on before the match started. Oh my god. The Reyna has a 4.0 KD and a 100% win rate over 22 games. What? You, you said a lot of numbers and things that I wasn't paying attention to. Reyna has a 4.0 KDA, an average tracker score of 1,000. Oh, that's awesome. This person's oh, cheating. 100% win rate over 22 games. So this ran is cheating. 
Yeah. <laughs> and his ADR is 400. I'll dodge. I'll fucking dodge this game right now. <laughs> I, I will dodge this game right now. Do you want me to just ult up for it? No, no, no. I, I want to see if this is real. Well, that's the thing. If you want to see this is real, we can't We're remake. I haven't moved yet. <laughs> it, no, no, no. You have to ult F4, like out of the game. What's up, guys? I, mean, I can do it. Yeah. Yeah, yo. I, I don't really care. Oh. We're going to win either way. I just moved by drone too. We ain't no bitch. Uh, behind double, behind double, behind double. Hell. Last player standing. I. Huh. No, no, no. Did you see what she did to me? And the guy. Yeah, the second you peeked, you got one tap. I don't even know if you made noise though. No, I, I didn't. Huh? Every single time I saw this Reyna, I got absolutely shut down. Like headshot after headshot, one tap after one tap. Now, the easy thing for me to do in this situation was to just give up and believe I couldn't beat a cheating Reyna, which I kind of did. But I realized that this Reyna wasn't invincible and was dying to my teammates. So I quickly got myself out of this mindset and continued on with the game. It can be a difficult thing to do when you're facing an opponent like this, but if you're winning rounds, you can still win the game. That's so despite my lackluster performance, right I kept trying. I planted cover going out. Oh, oh. Deluxe in. That's all you guys. That's smart. Nice. Go, go, go. We, we can't help it. We can't go. There's a deadlock ability. Oh, oh, it's too late for me to close out. Nice, good job. Okay, okay, go. More bomb. He's in there too, dude. Fully blind. I'm blasting if I'm up, so we know. Hold them to their grave! I'm smoking CT. I'm flashing market. We need you, B main. He doesn't miss, bro. Good try. Oh, mid wall drop, mid wall drop. Drone cat. Right. Nice. Want the deagle too? Bro, a casual 4.0 KD. Yep. Okay. To be fair, he's only got a two in this game. I could use a drop. Someone buy me a Odin. Thank you. Yeah, you know, that's a great idea. Actually, do you want to spam this? Well, you spam it off rip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. You spam I'm gonna from the normal spot. Here, all I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna throw my nade. I will keep him. I might keep him trapped. Do it. Good, good. One enemy remaining. Yeah, she had a 4.0 KDA and a 1,000 tracker score average. And wouldn't you know, we won the game. We beat this Reyna and handed her her first L of the act. Now, looking back on this, this kind of reminded me why I hate in-game tracker apps. And if you've ever talked to me before about tracker apps, you know my stance is I don't like them. It was because before the match started, there was a seed planted in my head that this game was going to be kind of unwinnable due to the stats of another player. And as the game progressed, I was more focused on if this person was cheating or not rather than winning. The things that trackers show you before the match don't matter. Every game is a new game. So if you have that shit, delete it. Match three was on split and we were up 10-2, so obviously we won the match. Defenders win. Sky, fix your mental. You're fucking, you're fucking. Oh. <laughs> Now, game four for me was a struggle, and I wasn't playing good, and I think it was because I was fatigued from Valor, which is a real thing for me. 
When I get on, I'm sharp for like a few games and then I fall drastically. I was pretty much due for a break at this point. And especially since I haven't been playing as much as I used to. Pro players and streamers play this game all day. And because of this, they have built up a level of resilience to play this game for hours and hours and hours at a time and play consistently well. I, however, have lost that ability and need to work on regaining it, which is me just grinding the game. I've been working a lot and doing a lot of training for a new job with better hours, so I'll be back to my regular self in no time. But now, despite this bad performance, I won the game. But I realized I was playing lazy and I should call it quits for now. A lot of people don't do this and they continue to lose RR. Listen when I say this, if you don't trust that you're at your best, then don't queue, please. You'll only hurt yourself, you'll only drag down your teammates, and you're gonna be at the bottom of the leaderboard, and you're just gonna be praying that your good teammates will be there to save you. But as we all know, there's no such thing as good teammates. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. If you think this is a good type of video that I should continue to do on this channel, please let me know down below. If you don't, I'll go back to my usual stuff, but the usual stuff takes me a long time to do. I'm trying to get more content out for you guys since I haven't been posting much at all, really. And I really do want to try and fix that. And I'm hoping that my new hours will allow me to do so. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.